In a viral video, Instagram influencer Brie Teresi expresses her dislike for Bud Light by taking aim at cans of the beer with a semi-automatic rifle. This act of defiance is part of a conservative backlash against the brand's perceived support for transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney. Kid Rock, a country singer, had previously produced a video of himself shooting Bud Light cans with a submachine gun, further fueling the controversy. Welcome to Slant News. If you want to support, you can subscribe to our channel. Bud Light, a product of Anheuser-Busch, has become embroiled in America's ongoing culture wars, joining a growing list of companies that have faced backlash for their perceived political stances. Disney, the National Football League, Nike, Target, and Chick-fil-A are among the many companies that have faced similar controversies. Will Hind, the executive director of Consumers Research, a firm known for targeting companies like American Airlines and Levi's, states that consumers are increasingly fed up with corporate America imposing its values on the public. This sentiment has led to boycotts from both ends of the political spectrum. Several companies, including Under Armour and Goya, experienced boycotts after their CEOs expressed support for former President Donald Trump. However, the effectiveness of these boycotts remains a subject of debate. In the case of Bud Light, the brand has suffered a significant blow to its sales, with a nearly 25% decline in the month leading up to June 3. JP Morgan's analysis predicts a 26% drop in Anheuser-Busch's earnings for the year, with a full recovery not expected until the 2024 fiscal year. The term woke, originally used to denote awareness of social injustice, has now become a pejorative term employed by right-wing Republicans to criticize a wide range of issues, including climate change and support for minorities. Evan Neerman, a crisis manager and author, emphasizes the devastating financial impacts that boycotts can have on U.S. companies. The immediate financial losses are evident, but the long-term damage to a company's reputation and loss of loyal customers can be even more significant. Surveys indicate that Americans consider a brand's stance on issues to be important. Method Communications conducted a survey suggesting that 67% of Americans are influenced by a brand's stance, with 42% stating that they have stopped shopping with a particular brand due to its position on an issue. Over a third of respondents say they pay attention to a company's views on social issues. Despite facing temporary losses, some brands, like Nike, have emerged in a stronger position, supported by their loyal customer base. Nike faced backlash in 2018 for supporting Colin Kaepernick's racial justice protests, but their sales eventually rebounded, and the company achieved significant growth. Experts believe that how a brand responds to the fallout from a controversy is crucial in determining its resilience during a boycott. Bud Light faced criticism for its response to the Dylan Mulvaney controversy, with CEO Brendan Whitworth's statement being perceived as a blunder. Experts stress the importance of making a clear commitment and avoiding wavering or appearing two-faced. Observers predict that boycotts of brands and companies will increase in the coming years, with the debate over woke ideology likely to play a significant role in the 2024 election. Everyday citizens are empowered to become activists through boycotts, enabling them to make a collective impact on a large scale.